There's a lot of different activities going on this weekend. Current Lens with the Greater Madison Convention and Visitors Bureau is here to break it down for all us. First up, people need to know about football state finals happening in downtown Madison. Yeah, it's another year. It's fall. It's time for championship football for WIAA. It's happening at Camp Randall and it's happening today and tomorrow. So today we have three divisions, four through seven taking place. And there's one going on right now at four o'clock and there's one more at seven o'clock. Um, and the tickets for this event, uh, it's actually pretty reasonable. It is going to be, you can buy it on a day pass only or you can buy it for both days combined. So you can get a uh, $20 for today for a day pass, $15 for tomorrow, or $30 for both days. Or if you just want to go see one game, it's 8 bucks to get in. Um, but if you do leave the stadium, you have to pay to get back in under the $8 um, price. So it's a great event. Uh, you can bring umbrellas or chairbacks if you want to. And the team in alphabetical order, the first team, they're going to be the ones on the press row side, the press box side, okay. just so you know where to go so it's so comfortable. And if you don't like the traffic, you can avoid the traffic by parking at Lion Energy Center. They provide shuttles oh, there. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you spend $7 for parking there, and then you take 5 bucks for a shuttle round trip. You can avoid all the hassle, and it's a great time no to kidding. cheer on your, your high school alma mater. Awesome, mm -hmm. and gosh, they couldn't have asked for better weather tonight, because oh, I'm sure there have been years sense. they've been uh, shivering in the snow. I so. bet in that rainy, snowy weather, yeah, yeah. it's not that good, but this yeah. would be great. Okay, for the ladies out there, it's mm -hmm. the Madison Women's Expo this weekend. What mm -hmm. should people know about that? Well, the Women's Expo takes place on Saturday and Sunday. Day, and it's a great event. It's been happening now um, for multiple years. They're planning on having 200 exhibitors, and in that exhibit, they're going to have 200 exhibitors in certain areas. So they sort of split up the exhibitors in certain communities. So if you're in one spot, you'll sort of be with all the same type of people. So you can go to each sort of area and not have to go back and forth between exhibitors and know where they are. It's really easy to coordinate and get around. Uh, prices there are right now up until Friday, $4.50 if you go online and get your tickets, or $10 at the gate. But they also have discounts you can get before you get there to present your coupon and get it in free. It's a great event, really cheap, and it's wonderful to find out about wellness, health, fashion, home, everything. everything. Speakers, yes. everyone will be there. All right. And families can get in the holiday spirit with the annual Fantasy mm -hmm. in Lights display at Olin Park. Tell yeah, us we, all about that. We were just talking about Thanksgiving. I can't believe it's here already. Well, it doesn't feel like it. I know. <laughs> so with this warm weather, you might be surprised that the Fantasy in Lights are going to be happening at Olin Park. It kickoffs on Saturday, the 19th, and it runs all the way through January 2nd. And it's become so much of a tradition. It's 26 years wow. Fantasy in Lights has now been taking place here. And just recently, well, it's about six or so years ago, they switched out all the regular bulbs into LEDs. That's 15,000 bulbs. Wow. But in doing so, they saved 82% of electricity and consumption that way. So not only is it a great tradition, but it's also a great event to understand that, that people are really taking care of the environment and not wasting so much money by doing so. Uh, but you get to so, see great events. It's free to go there. You drive right through. It takes maybe five or ten minutes to drive through, listen to some piped in music, get a candy cane as you go out. And it's a great one, way to kick off the holiday season. Absolutely. I drove by there and saw them setting mm -hmm. up yesterday. Yeah, so. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Thanks so much for all these great events, Kurt. Mm -hmm. We always appreciate you coming, and you can find all this information on... VisitMadison.com. All right. Thanks, Kurt. <laughs>